Well, hey guys, I hope your day is going well. I'm gonna be sharing with you some skincare essentials to get you summer body ready. And no, I don't mean like in shape or bikini body. I just mean these are skincare products that I tend to gravitate towards or find myself recommending more in the summertime. Now, everything that I'm recommending in today's video is stuff you can get at the drugstore. It's pretty affordable. And if you're like me, you're always looking out for a great deal. And one thing that has really been helping me a lot, especially in terms of keeping track of coupons and deals, is this extension for my browser called ShopTagger. Today's video is in partnership with ShopTagger. It is synced with over 4,000 different retailers and it allows you to keep track of products that you are interested in and it will notify you when those products go on sale. ShopTagger was particularly useful to me very recently. It brought to my attention that CVS was having a sale on La Roche-Posay sunscreens. They are pricey at baseline. Getting started with ShopTagger on your computer is really easy. You just download the browser button in the Google Chrome store. And then you can just head on over to your favorite store and you just click the button or you can use a slider when you see an item that you like and you can save it to a list and create new lists. Like for example, I've got an ongoing list of sunglasses and then I'm creating a list here of skincare essentials. What's great is that you then can get notifications via either email or mobile push if you're using their mobile app when an item that you've saved either goes on sale or comes back in stock. You can also get push notifications if you download ShopTagger's mobile app. And what I really love about it is that it allows you to view coupon codes at checkout and they will collate all coupons being offered for what's in your cart and apply them to your cart to get you the most savings. ShopTagger is a really great way, you guys, for maximizing your savings while shopping online. Go ahead and click the link in my description box below to download ShopTagger. Speaking of CVS, the first product I want to talk about, CVS recently launched a generic of Differin. Exact same product, exact same ingredients, a fraction of the price. Why am I talking about this in a video about skincare for the body for summertime? The reason is Differin is a, aka Adapalene, is a topical retinoid that not only is useful for acne, both on the face, but also can be applied to areas of the body that have acne. But it also is super helpful for reducing and removing post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Yeah, dark marks related to healing acne, bug bites, rashes, they tend to crop up even more so and be more problematic in the summertime. We're exposing a lot more of our skin to both UV and visible light that come through the window. And so that can make that hyperpigmentation come on sooner and it can make it last longer. So I'm bringing it up here because A, you can use it in the summertime, it's not a contraindication. B, you can use it for the body. And C, CVS just launched a generic that is much cheaper than brand name, brand name different. The other thing that um, different, AKA Adapalene in the CVS generic version is going to be helpful for, ingrown hairs related to shaving. Let's, let's be real, in the summer, at least women shave from the waist down probably more frequently and more often in the summer than they do in the winter time because you're wearing shorts and bathing suits and all of that. Ingrown hairs, particularly in the bikini area, are super, super common. Much, much in the same way that Adapalene works to control acne, some of those same mechanisms can also be helpful for ingrown hairs. So that's a great one. And the other thing to think about when it comes to shaving is your shaving cream. And that can really make or break you. A lot of shaving creams, they have irritating menthol. They might be actually more drying than anything, but a good shaving cream is really important for shaving not only the beard, like for men, but anywhere on the body. It can make or break you. A lot of shaving creams have irritating ingredients, drying alcohols, and it is important to use one because it helps soften those hairs and makes for a better cut. It makes the skin less prone to little nicks, micro tears. I recommend you, to you guys the Aveeno Active Naturals Fragrance-Free Therapeutic Shave Gel. Yeah, this is wonderful. It has glycerin in it and colloidal oatmeal, so it's very good for the skin barrier. That's really important. 
part of preventing ingrown hairs is not getting the neighboring skin too irritated. That's also important for just reducing the risk of irritation related to shaving that can cause a lot of problems. All right, a product that is also gonna help with body washing and body cleansing and is gonna be really helpful, especially in the summer when we're more sweaty and maybe you don't, you're not able to change out of sweaty clothes as easily. So you're more at risk for body odor and breakouts and whatnot related to sweat left on the skin and sweaty clothing. You guys know I love Panoxyl's Creamy Benzoyl Peroxide Wash. I'm bringing this up here in this video because this is a great body wash, particularly in the summer. Use it to areas that get super sweaty, like in between the breasts or under the breasts in women or on the chest. Um, that's an area that frequently gets sweaty in everybody. Under the armpits, your back, uh, the buttocks area, in between your inner thighs. It also can be used to wash your feet. If you're walking around without any socks on, you know that can make your feet sweat a lot and make them more prone to odor. This can help by using this as a wash. I don't suggest, however, using this to wash your arms and legs. Um, because it is very drying, but it is great. It will help reduce the burden of bacteria on the surface of the skin that break down sweat and break down our oils and lead to problems like acne breakouts and, and folliculitis, a little infection around the hair. That can be more problematic and people are more prone to those things in the summertime when it's really sweaty. Also, if you live in a tropical climate, this is kind of like a baseline issue for you. I use this myself in the shower to my armpits as a mask. I lather it to my armpits, let it sit there for a few minutes and then rinse it off. And that helps cut down on the bacteria in your armpit that break down your sweat and lead to body odor. This can be a game changer in your BO routine. Um, so I recommend that. And um, so building on that for your, for your armpit summer skincare needs, the next product that I'm gonna recommend to you guys is in the evening time, or before you go to bed, I would recommend that you apply an aluminum containing antiperspirant. The best time to apply these, your antiperspirant, is at bedtime, right before you get in the bed, um, because when we sleep, the production of eccrine sweat is lower, so the aluminum um, can actually get into the sweat glands while you're sleeping and work to plug them up. And then the following morning, you can either rinse it off if you're somebody who's easy, whose skin is easily irritated by aluminum, or you can just move on with your life. Um, yeah, using it that way is the best way to use it. It also reduces the um, issue about putting deodorant on and getting it on your clothing. Uh, I recommend the Vanny Cream brand because it's free of fragrance and very good for sensitive skin. And then another product by Vanny Cream that you can use throughout the day if, while you're sweating to kind of help remove that sweat. You don't want that sweat uh, left behind sitting on your skin because that's you know the bacteria they're gonna break it down even if you've even if you've reduced them with panoxol they're still gonna break it down and lead to body odor not to mention sweat is an irritant on the skin so you can get irritation and chafing in the armpits when they're sweaty I recommend the bandy cream deodorant this is basically like a nice uh, soothing hydrogel that is moisturizing and will help just cleanse the skin there remove sweat and and provide a little bit of moisturization you also can use this trifecta on your feet as well in the same way uh, because a lot of what leads to smelly feet is a breakdown of sweat by the bacteria on the skin of the feet and you certainly can use aluminum containing antiperspirants on your feet if you have really sweaty feet i mean that is a treatment for localized hyperhidrosis on the feet moving on to another issue that plagues the feet more so in the summertime when we're tending to wear flip-flops and things that don't always give the best arch support. Duh, I'm gonna mention Carousel. I love it. It is a foot ointment that will help dissolve that built up stuff. It's much safer and better to use this than that baby foot peel thing that's laden with a bunch of essential oils. Um, not only does this have salicylic acid, but it also has urea. This is really intense. It's so intense that I recommend using it every night for a week and then just using it maybe once or twice a week. Slather it to the calluses before you go to bed and cover your feet with socks if you can stand it. That way the 
ointment doesn't get all over your sheets and stuff. And this will drive it into that callus and it'll quickly work to dissolve it and leave your skin on your feet really smooth and, and supple. But you don't want to use it too frequently, especially if you're a runner like me, because you do need a little bit of, of callus. Otherwise you'll get, you'll get a blister. So what to do in the off nights then so that you're not overdoing it, that can also help. And it actually has reduced my reliance on the, on the carousel quite a bit is to just use a really, really thick um, cream or ointment to the, to the heels and around the toes as well. I mean, in all surfaces of the bottom of the feet. Um, twice a day. I've been doing this. The foot cream I've been using lately is the Dermatonics foot cream. This is amazing. It's super thick. It's colloidal oatmeal and urea, so it helps hydrate up the skin on the soles of the feet really well. Keeps them smooth, but it's not as aggressive as the carousel, um, so it's better for kind of maintenance. I've been putting this on my feet twice a day, and it's definitely reduced my reliance on the carousel. I also put it like on my ankles a lot. Um, it's really good. So yeah, I've really been enjoying this. It's my second or third tube of it. So I strongly recommend it. It's been very effective for me. And this is a great pairing for the summer for keeping your feet looking smooth and shiny. Speaking of looking smooth and shiny and, and supple, let's talk body moisturizer. In the summer, or if you live in a humid climate, um, using heavy creams and or lotions on the body and or face, although I'm not talking about face care today, can just feel oppressive. <laughs> like they're, they're a little excessive. In summer, especially if you live here in Houston where it's super humid or you know elsewhere, I know a lot of you guys live in tropical climates. I find I really like to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream, the fragrance-free one in the summertime. It's just a lot more lightweight, but it's nice and moisturizing. You can also use this on the face. I know I'm not talking about face care. All right, the next body care thing that I think in the summer more so than other times of the year, A, because of just kind of some of the things that we do in the summer more, and B, because we have more body, more body sites exposed to sun that comes through the window that can, can lead to hyperpigmentation and whatnot. And that is my favorite scar treatment, Scar Away. Um, this is basically medical grade silicone, which has been shown to improve the appearance of scars ultimately. And it's really good um, in the summertime because this particular kit comes with not only the scar gel, but also with the scar sheets. And so you can wear the scar sheets during the daytime and it will protect an area of injury from exposure to the sun that will allow it to not only heal better, but also make it less likely to heal with a dark mark. Medical grade silicone is probably one of the few evidence-based topical ingredients to improve the appearance of a scar, that and topical retinoids, which would be different, AKA adapalene, including the CVS dupe that I mentioned earlier. But yeah, um, what I'm getting at is in the summertime, things happen like you nick your legs shaving because you're shaving more, or if you are like me, even though this isn't really a summertime specific injury. I recently burned myself on my handy dandy steamer. You guys know I'm so into steaming everything. I mean, I'm steaming everything. Like I'll just like, oh my God, that throw pillow has a slight wrinkle in it. Let's bring out the steamer and fix that. So I've been overzealous with the steamer and I, I sustained a, a burn on my wrist. And so I'm currently wearing the silicone scar sheet on my wrist. And so that's what I'm using to help that heal. Yeah, this is a body site that is susceptible to a lot of friction. And because with working on the computer, you rest your hand on surfaces and with writing, I mean, this is a site, a body site that is prone to a lot of friction. So having the silicone scar sheet is gonna help this heal and make it less likely to heal with hyperpigmentation and or skin thickening, AKA a scar. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know where we're at. I know this video is probably getting long, but have I ever talked this long about products and not mentioned sunscreen? One that's good for everyday use, uh, is nice and moisturizing, is the Eucerin Daily Hydration Cream SPF 30. This is good, like, for a summer day when you are wearing shorts or a skirt and you're indoors mostly, um, not when you're outside a lot. Because it's SPF 30, um, you know, you wouldn't want to rely on this, for example, 
by the pool or a day at the beach. You would want a higher SPF, but for every day, just kind of like being in the house, wearing shorts, whatnot, this is a great one. It's moisturizing, absorbs very quickly, not greasy, and it's free of fragrance. But if you're gonna be outside more, a day that you're running errands even, that's a lot of sun exposure. Getting in the car, walking across parking lots, you end up getting a lot of sun exposure. And you're now that you're gonna have more body sites exposed, a sunscreen that I like to use in the summertime is the La Roche-Posay Anthelos Dermo Kids. This sunscreen is pretty nice you guys know I love their Melton sunscreen milk for my face, but the kids one is similar ingredients. Um, it's a little greasy and shiny on the face, but it's a better value for the body. The sunscreen Melton milk is intended for face and body, and so is this. This one's shiny on the face, and a lot of people don't like it, and it burns around the eyes, but it's great on the body. Uh, no cast, not greasy, fast absorbing. And like the name implies, you can also use this on your children. It's safe. Um, and honestly, all sunscreens are safe for kids. <laughs> like, um, you know, honestly, they are. <laughs> all sunscreen ingredients are safe. The reason we have separate sunscreens for kids is that babies in particular tend to have very more sensitive skin and kids to a certain extent. And so those products are formulated ever so slightly differently to be a little less irritating. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The sunscreen that you use is fine for your kids. All right, a sunscreen product that can be helpful for reapplication touch-ups um, in certain body sites is a sunscreen stick. Now these are not reliable for total application because you will get a lot of skip areas. And the devil's in the details, like some, I see some SPF sticks, I guess they're helpful for babies who have small surface areas, but they're like the size of, a, of, of like a chapstick. And I'm going like, okay, that's just begging for a burn right there. But personally, I have found as a runner, now that I'm running outside more, I have kind of come to enjoy the sticks for reapplying. They're easier to carry on my run and they're easier to reapply when I'm sweaty. I don't really have to touch my skin with my hands. I can just swatch it over and it's really helpful. But the devil's in the details, as I said, in terms of the size of the stick. And I love that um, Color Science Sports Stick. It's really good, but it's pretty expensive. So I've been using the Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Mineral Sunblock SPF 50. This is similar, if not identical, to the Color Science one. and and a lot less expensive. Water resistant up to 80 minutes. They also make a kid's one. If you have really sensitive skin or a baby, then I would argue for the kid's version. Yeah, so while these are not like a replacement for applying sunscreen in a cream or lotion vehicle, that creams and lotions, they give the most reliable coverage, the most reproducible coverage, as opposed to sprays and sticks and powders. They can lead to patchy application and a lot of missed areas but they certainly are useful adjuvants in your sun care routine, especially for touch-ups on the go. So I really love these and strongly recommend them. They're pretty affordable. All right, the last sunscreen kind of recommendation for the body comes has to do with the scalp. The best way to protect your scalp is to wear a hat. If you have a bald head, you can put any sunscreen that you like on your head, same as you would on your face or your body. It doesn't matter. Um, but if you do have a hair, some sunscreens, they can kind of wreak havoc on your hair, to be frank, and upset people, like they'll make your hair look greasy. Having hair itself does protect your scalp a little bit more than obviously the rest of your body sites that don't have that amount of hair. It does offer a little bit of protection from sun, but it's not really enough, and you definitely do need to still protect your scalp. Um, so how to do that? I actually recommend getting one of these mineral sunscreen powders and using it on the scalp line. I had used the Color Science Mineral SPF powder a lot in this situation and found that it works really well, but obviously that's super expensive. Um, Derma E makes their sun protection mineral powder SPF 30. This too works really well in the scalp line as does the super goop invisible setting powder this one is a little bit higher spf it's more expensive obviously than derma e um, but this is also really good you know super goop has a sunscreen for the hair that's good 
but I'm kind of starting to wonder if it's not really just the same as this. And I find this works really well in the scalp. So give this a try. It's a better value than buying the, the scalp product. When it comes to removing sunscreen from both the face and the body, I actually recommend using an oil-based cleanser. For those of you in the UK and Australia, and I believe New Zealand as well, I definitely recommend the QV body oil. Um, but the closest dupe to that that I found here in the States is the Neutrogena body oil, fragrance free. You can just lather this to your face and body. It will start to break up that film of water resistant sunscreen, plus any dirt and like garbage and whatnot that has settled on it. <laughs> garbage, like, like a gum wrapper stuck to your arm. It will dissolve that. And then when you step in the shower, it will rinse right off. The body oil has um, PEG-40 in it, which is a ingredient that will help this wash off with water better. Now, this product is actually intended to be used after you get out of the shower as a body oil. And you can use it that way too. But using it to help break up that film is really a useful pre-shower step because when you get in the shower, if you try and get this get water resistant sunscreen off the body, it can be really hard. You end up scrubbing a lot. A lot of people will then end up gravitating towards using a lot more soap, which can dry out your skin. This is a much better way. It just nicely breaks up that film and then it will rinse off pretty easily in the shower. And a lot of people fret about sliding and slipping and sliding in the shower, but you guys, you really don't need that much of this. Like I've been using this now for four months, I feel like. And look, I've only made that much of a dent in it. And you know how much sunscreen I'm slathering all over my body. You only need a few drops of this. So those are my recs for summer body <laughs> skincare. And uh, like I said, most of these you can get at your local drugstore. They're pretty affordable. Um, but definitely check out Shop Tagger, you guys, to keep a track on these uh, and to see when you can get the best deal on them, especially like, different drugstores, they're always having different coupons and whatnot. And rather than subscribing to all of their individual email, email flyers, just do this, much easier. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.